Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today I just have a really quick video. I just want to share my update on my mining results on Quick Miner that I've been running in NiceHash for the past almost 20 hours. Ideally, I'd be wanting to do this full test for a full 24 hour span, but it seems NB Miner has a new release. That's right, NB Miner now has a new LHR 100% LHR Unlock Release 2. So I'm going to be switching the rig over to start covering that one. And I'm really excited. Before we proceed on to that, I just want to share my mining results with you with Quick Miner. So I've been running this miner and I'm getting very stable results. If I look at uh, Dagger Hashimoto on this rig, you see over a period of time, that's the first few hours before I started, I see I'm registering about 580, 578 mega hash. So with a very, very low rejection rate of uh, 0.24%, which is fantastic. And I did that using standard overclocks that are built into Excavator. Let me go to Rig Manager. And on Rig Manager, you see in my Excavator rig, scroll down, you see here's all of my LHR carts that I've been running. And I have them tuned at medium, 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 all the way down, except for one card, my 3060 Ti, which has Hynix memory. That was the car that was causing my rig, I believe, to do all the crashing. So once I dialed it and changed it from medium, I changed it to light. It seemed it reduced the memory overclock enough for it to run and stay stable. And I've been running up and stable now for about 20 hours without any crashes. So that was my goal, to find stability. Because we can find overclocks, we can find everything, but without stability, it doesn't mean anything if this rig keeps crashing. So that's what I did. I just went down to light. Now I'm gonna be working to try to find further improvements to get even higher hash rate and more optimization out of my cards. As is, I'm still getting some great results on the miner. However, since I'm doing some video recording and I actually have some other monitors that I was using with like MSI Afterburner, I was checking the power drawer and wattage. It may be showing that my hash rate is a little bit lower for the moment. Let me just switch over to the miner. Okay, there we go, it's showing it's back. Maybe it's just not refreshed in the minor. Still getting 119 to 120 on my 3080 Ti. Look at these amazing epic numbers that we're seeing here for the efficiencies, especially my 3070 card. It's mining just like a full hash card. It's a dream with a 554 efficiency, and that's fantastic. Now, once I know I'm stable with my mining, I want to look into how I can do more optimization. So if I open up the OC Tune tool, I would be able to make changes to my card. So to access the OC Tune tool, you would come down to your bottom task manager, scroll to the bottom right and click the up arrow and right click on the quick miner. You'll see it's gonna give you a speed. You should be able to stop the miner here. It has some information for game mode if you wanted to have it turn on and off when you're playing a game. As well as you see, you know, set OC Tune tool settings, about configure. So just click on the OC Tune tool and it should open up a web browser with the OC Tune. This is the NiceHash Quick Miner OC Tune Utility. If I didn't know any better, I think I'm looking at the instrumentation for an aircraft. There's a lot of information here and the way the interface is put together, it's not very friendly, especially if you used other tools in the past like Hive or even in NiceHash in the NiceHash Miner. Let me give you a quick overview of it. So up top, I have my Excavator Health Monitor. In here, I have all my graphic cards, some indicative information as far as temperature, utilization, etc. The values I really care about are these, the core and the core limit, but then we see our selected column, and I'm gonna be coming back to select individual cards to tune them in a minute. Scrolling down a little bit, now I have my excavator OC tuner. In this values here, I get to see my delta values, what I'm applying for my delta, for my core clock or my memory clock offset, or if I was doing other stuff with the power limit. So I have a kind of a mix. I have my core clock information up here, my memory clock offsets here, and it's pretty confusing in my opinion until you get used to it. Beneath that, now we have general options. And general options, we just have refresh time, reset cards, we have some fan management stuff here. We have overclocking, we have alternate overclocking, and it goes on and it goes beneath that for it goes for LHR, unlock settings, AMD overclocks. I really hope NiceHash refines this interface going forward. If you do too, definitely give me a big thumbs up like so. Hopefully it sends them a clear message to refine this interface and make it a little bit friendlier for us to use. But for me, I just want to go and make a modification to one card. So let me just shift this over and let's look at the miner. 
So my one card that's running a little bit low is my 3060 Ti, and that's because it has Hynix memory. I can't boost that memory overclock too high, so I set it to the built-in setting of light, and using light now at least I'm able to get 57 mega hash out of it, which is pretty good, and my efficiency is still pretty good at 458, but I want to try to boost it to see if I can get a little bit more out of it. So let me go to the OC2 and utility. Before I make any changes to it, I'm going to have to go back into nice hash and I'm going to have to go back into the rig manager. Now this card that I set to light before, I'm going to have to set this to manual first. So nice hash lets me use the OC2 and utility to change the overclocks. So you'll notice now the 3060 Ti, it lost the default settings. Core clock is back up at full. So first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to click select. So this is going to be the card I'm going to be applying modifications to. Now I'm going to scroll down until I get to the overclocking sessions. And I'm going to have to select the card I want to modify. So now I want to modify my 3060 Ti. So this is going to give me the default. This is what the card is set at right now. So I want to use a locked core clock. So I'm going to try to put in here. It was using 1320 before. I'm going to try to just put it up a little bit more. Let me try to go to say just 1500 and 6800 is its base value for the memory clock absolute. I want to get it a thousand over. So I'm going to go to 7800 and I'm going to tell it to apply to selected. Just apply to the selected card. And that's going to apply it just to this card right here. Now we see my memory clock is set to 1500 as well as my core clock. My memory delta down here is set to 3060 Ti is set to 999. So it's basically it's setting it to a thousand. And that's the how I would have to set my overclocking using locked core clock and a memory clock watch set. Once again, not very intuitive. But let me go back to the miner to see how those results are doing now. So when it lost the core clock, it went down to 50 mega hash. Now that I've applied it, it's back up to 58. And hopefully it gets up a little bit higher to like 5960. But I know, unfortunately, I can't go much higher than this thousand, maybe a little bit more. But let's see if we get enough of what we need out of the miner. Okay, great. So I'm seeing now, at least I'm getting now over 59 mega hash out of this card. My efficiency is not optimal. It dropped down to about 411. So I'm going to keep working and refining this a little bit more. But I just kind of wanted to give you a little preliminary look of how to use the OC Tune tool. It's not a very friendly interface to get used to. And I'm going to make a separate video on that. So if you haven't already subscribed, definitely press down on that subscribe button so you're notified when I make that video. Some viewers posted some great questions, including how is the power consumption with this new quick miner with the 100% LHR unlock? Is it still fluctuating a lot like we've seen with the other LHR unlock miners? Well, I've opened up MSI Afterburner not to do any overclocking but just so I could get a hardware monitoring information on the power consumption. So I filtered it down just to be the GPU power. And I have all my cards here from my 3060 all the way down to my 3080. Let me see if I scroll this down a little bit. <laughs> With all my cards, I could see my overall power consumption and wattage. It's much more stable than it was with the other LHR unlockers. My 3060 is consistently giving me numbers of 109, 110 watts. Scrolling down till I get to my 3080. I see it's at 268, 266, 258, 266. So overall, it's much more stable than it was with the previous LHR unlockers. And I just want to take a look at that. So the consistency with this quick miner is much better than I've seen it with the previous iterations of the LHR unlockers in the different miners. My final takeaway and thoughts on the NiceHash QuickMiner OC Tune Tool. Although it's very powerful, it's not very friendly or intuitive to use, especially if you use some of the tools like HiveOS. So I really hope that NiceHash maybe makes a simple or more advanced mode something. Something to simplify this interface is just even, you know, there's just too many different options and too many different controls going on here. It's too busy. On a happy note, at least I'm seeing great mining results in NiceHash. I'm seeing the correct amount of uh, hash rate recognized. And I'm seeing it's running very, very consistent for a longer period of time. Tested it now for about 20 hours. 
and I would be doing the full 24 hour testing, but I'm too excited about this new MB Miner 41. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. Like I'm gonna be following all the LHR Unlock Miners. So don't forget to subscribe so you stay notified and up to date with them. And hopefully I'll be sharing some more overclock settings and updates with you on the different miners as they keep making this huge leap forward. And now that our LHR cards are free, I welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Till next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining.